Hey guys, Romanoki here today. It's windy, I'm hoping it doesn't sound too bad on camera. Hey, today I'm out here at the range, and like I promised, I brought my little pre World War German pick, and it is chambered in 25 ACP. Look at that. So, I've got this gun, I've got a little ankle holster, I've carried it before, uh, absolutely, probably a gut gun in a self-defense situation, uh, it's not something I'm going to go shoot in competition with, but I got to thinking just how, how, uh, how, accurate is this gun and how you know what's the the uh the ballistics on it you know i'm no ballistic guy but i'm gonna shoot it through the chronograph and then since it's so tiny instead of watermelons or pumpkins i'm gonna shoot an apple maybe a pomegranate just because why not right and then i was wondering what kind of penetration this has it's basically projectile that's bigger than a 22 caliber with about the same amount of powder as a 22 caliber so it's moving slower than a 22 caliber so what kind of penetration does it have well we'll get an idea if we can crack open a coconut ACP. guys it's when you're a sack full of farts here in Wyoming today so bear with me on it uh, I'm hoping my camera stays up. Since it's windy, uh, let's get the show on the road. All right, guys. Again, it's windy here. I don't want to mess around. It's kind of cold. It's in the 40s. Uh, we're actually expected a big snowstorm this weekend, so I want to get as much filming in as I can. All right, 25 ACP through the chronograph. Looks like it needs old. All right, guys. Seven hundred and forty-seven feet per second. It's pretty slow moving. Let's try shot number two through it. All right, guys. That one was seven hundred and two feet per second. So I'll get one more just to kind of give us a round number here. All right, 730 on that one, guys. All right, so we're in the 700s. Pretty slow moving bullet. Uh, let's see what we can do to make it blow some stuff up. Hey guys, so I was out here filming this video yesterday. First half of it is with the chronograph was yesterday. All of this other stuff, man, the wind started blowing so bad. It, the audio was just too bad. I wasn't going to put it all through that. So I'm out here again. We're going to put a few rounds through some different things with this little 25 ACP apple, pomegranate, and see if we can't put it through a coconut. So that give us a, a, an idea of the penetration on whether or not this is a viable, you know, pocket gun. But we already seen the chronograph; it moves pretty slow. We've talked about that. Uh, so anyway, this video might repeat a little bit. I'm just trying to finish up the one I started yesterday, and to be honest with you, I don't remember where I left off. But anyway, we're gonna shoot a coconut. And then I got two gallons of water. We'll see if we can't stop a stop a bullet and, and see what it looks like. Anyway, guys. Let's get this show on the road so we can get out of here again. All right, first item up for bid, I'm going to shoot through two apples.
Alright guys, here's the damage to the apples. Pretty good for two of them. You might notice, I forgot to put my ears on. That's what happens when you get in a hurry guys. Don't ever get in a hurry when you're shooting gum because that's when accidents happen. Let me go get my ears on before I shoot anything else. Bear with me. Safety first, guys. When you're, anytime you're shooting. Uh, luckily, we weren't shooting a 50 cal. All right. So, guys, next, let's shoot this pomegranate and see what happens. Feed the deer. goes safety on Man, what a shame. A video yesterday, the pomegranate had a really nice pink mist. Looked like something out of a war video. So guys, I'm not even really sure other than pomegranate juice. This is the first time I've ever dealt with an actual pomegranate fruit. I'm not real sure of the point of it. All right, guys, that's about all I got to say about that. Let's move on to the coconut. This one's full of juice. Let's see if we can penetrate a coconut with a 25 caliber pistol. Oh man, look at that. All right, that's disgusting. So guys, we got us an entrance wound and an exit wound. That wasn't very impressive, but at about three yards, 25, We'll go through a coconut, which means, in a self-defense, it might go through somebody's coconut if you needed to. All right, I'm going to shoot it a few more times, just because I'm loaded up, and because it only put one hole in it. Let's see what else happens. All right, guys, looks like I grazed it. Coconut. I'm going to take this home. I'm going to make me a brawl because I'm getting to the age where a nice coconut brawl might do me some good. All right, guys, let's move on to this water. We'll see what we can't capture one of these bullets in it. Got two gallons here. We'll move them back a little bit further than the fruit. Just give me a little bit of spacing. Maybe give me a better chance of capturing one. In fact, I might shoot it through the coconut to slow it down even more. All right, guys. Through the coconut, through two gallons of water. Let's see if we can catch this bullet.
Well, that was an interesting outcome. We went in, we didn't even come out. Our water is unscathed. But I'm not sure where that where that projectile went. I'm just gonna shoot the water, guys, and see what that does. Well, apparently that goes all the way through. Let's try the coconut again. I'm going to have to reload this. That's what I thought. I'll reload it. I'm going to shoot it through that coconut one more time. And then into the water. I shot high, just in case. So there should be enough water towards the bottom of the jugs. And maybe we can still capture the bullet. All right, guys. Here goes nothing. All right. That went in and out. It didn't go through the other one, but I'm not sure. Went all the way through, but it didn't go into the other jug. Let's try it one more time while well, there's still some water in there. All right, here goes. Yeah, let's shoot the coconut one more time. Let's do this. Let's do one round of coconut, two jugs of water. How about that? Maybe that'll be enough. Get back here. All right, well, that was very interesting. That went in there, went sideways, entrance, turned. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure what happened there. That's weird. I'm out of bullets. It's riddled with holes. Let's see what we got. And no bullet in there. Hey! Is that a bullet or is that coconut? There's something floating around in there. Coconut. Alright guys. Well, we didn't catch the bullet. But we did make a real nice mess. We've proven that you don't want to get shot within four yards by a 25 caliber because it would prove to be pretty painful. All right, guys. Well, this has been the Romanoki shooting the German pick. It's a fun little gun. I like it. I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, holds six plus one. It holds about what my nine millimeter holds. Fits real nice in this handy dandy ankle holster. need to conceal it on your holster with some baggy pants or something or on your ankle with some baggy pants. Pretty nice holster. All right guys, 
now we're at the end of the video where if you liked it hit like if you want to see more content like this hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already i know a bunch of you haven't because i'm sitting at like 25 subscribers so far which i love every one of them i'm very thankful for them uh if you thank your buddies that like this video hit share guys if you don't think they'd like it hit share and, and uh, they'll get over it they'll still love you if you're a good guy anyway uh yeah guys out here in beautiful wyoming it's a lot prettier day today than it was yesterday until next time guys peace out